So uh, good afternoon, I'm Mr. Philip, and uh, thank you for granting us the opportunity to interview you, sir, um, in a memoir uh, hotel, sir, in Siem Reap City, sir. Uh, sir, you are the uh, president of the Siem Reap Tourism Club, and uh, right now, you know, your, your goal is to uh, continue to promote the tourism sector in Siem Reap and to promote, you know, Siem Reap more than just the uh, temples. Uh, in, uh, you know, we, we try to do it in sport, we try to do it in, uh, in art, uh, something like that, sir. Uh, sir, my first question would be a bit open, would be a bit um, uh, in, in a simple way. Uh, everyone say that Onko is the wonder of the world. So, which means to me, maybe Onko is known by everyone because it is already a very famous monument in the world. But why, at this case, we still need to uh, promote Onko, so even though it is already the wonder of the world? Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, to my Media, for coming and, and, and uh, you know, trying to get opinions why uh, Similia Tourism Club is actually trying to do uh, more uh, campaign, more promotions to. Uh, you know, to share this so-called new products, additional service in Simriap uh, to uh, our, you know, local and international audience. Uh, yes, it is true that Anko is already a wonder, uh, you know, that everyone knows. I run in lifetime, they already take Anko as, as, uh, as their, you know, destination to visit. Right. Uh, however, you know this is this is already a wish, right? Mm -hmm. But to really speed up the decision process to make their wish coming, uh, you know, as fast as what we need people to come more to the Simria. Uh, normally, we have to create some events. We have to share the new product and service where hopefully to really, you know, uh, urge or to really push their decision to make it faster to come visit mm -hmm. Simria, and. Normally, as a tourist, you know, uh, yes, uh, they they already wanted to visit the destinations, yes, right? Uh, because that that's, they don't have something to offer, like Angkor Wat is the wonder of the world, right? But then when they know that uh, there's there's even right happening, that is something that you know can push them, uh, you know, come over, then then they will do it. And and generally, people, you know. Expect one experience, but if you can do, if the destination can offer them more experience than just one, I mean, as as people always say, it, you know, if you have one arrow, you can shoot for two or three birds. Mm, then that's yes, the yes. best idea that they want to do. So, tourist mindset is more or less the same, right? If they can visit the temple, then they can know more about the history. They can know about the art. They can know yes, about sir. the cultures of the destination. This is something that they like to come as quick as possible. Yes, sir. So you mean um, being the wonder of the world doesn't mean you know having the monument alone, but also the facility, the equipment around that monument that push people to come, uh, uh, you know, more and more, sir, let's say. Yeah, I mean, yes. tourists is looking for some things, you know, vast experience. Something uh, fun also, uh, yes. Some of the tourists, they like to have fun, you know, this kind of thing. So a destination alone doesn't, you know, just have the monument to see, but if they have some, for example, people talk about ecotourism, yes, people talk about spot tourism, yes, you know, sir. so if this something is happening in, 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 in destination, yes, that would encourage people to come more and more. I think Angkor Wat has been known as the one of the seven wonders for some reason. Uh, actually, there's a lot of uh, aspect uh, why Angkor has been nominated as one of the seven wonders. Uh, it is known a lot for sure, but then I think uh, promote Enco mean not just for the uh, world um, masterpiece, but then the detailed aspect of Enco itself. Uh, I'm not uh, sure about the other people's experiences, but for me it's exceptional even with the Enco, what we see um, a whole load of uh, connectivity actually. You might want to go in front of Enco, what you might want to see the temple, but you also want to understand who built it, uh, how, what is the architectures uh, behind, who drew it, uh, what king, what did they eat that time, what tool they use. So this kind of thing links to a further exploration actually for those who does not uh, want to go inside uh, deeply into this uh, master video might probably feel bored of just seeing a stone piece but particularly Anko should be uh, a better, uh, should have a better way of communication and should so link a lot to uh, spiritual uh, lifestyles or perhaps civilization that has been brought to life in this 
to my kingdom, right? But at the same time, sir, you know, uh, there, there's, a, there's a saying because uh, some expert, they mentioned that, um, you know, Siem Reap has an abundance of heritage, of resources, but at the same time, we lack the communication outside the country so, or even inside the country itself to local customers. So do you think that we still lack the communication and what should be done in order to fill in the gap, sir? Uh, I believe communication doesn't happen once and then you stop, right? Communication has to be repeated itself yes, more sir. and more so that people remember it. Yes, Just like when, you know, Teachers, you know, teach the student. Repetition. Yeah, yes. Repetition is important. Yes. Yes. So uh, definitely, uh, we have a wonderful, you know, temples here at the at, at, at Simria Province. Uh, you know, Angkor Wat people know because it's, you know, World Heritage registered under UNESCO. So a lot of people know, but lots of people know doesn't mean all the people has been known about that. You know, those mm -hmm. people who related to the culture or this kind of thing, being in that such of profession, maybe they know, but the normal citizens they might not be aware about especially you know where is the anchor word you know where is cambodia sometimes when i went outside of the country when you meet other ordinary people at yes, those country when they ask me where i'm coming from you i say i come from cambodia some of them don't even know where cambodia existed which means communication need to do a lot more not just one time or two times army repetition need to do a lot more same things like the product at the tourism product in Simria, right? We talk about the Angkor, yeah, people are you know, aware about that. But if you talk about you know, the culture, the civilization, the arts, and you know, the nature that we have, as beautiful as it exists in Simria right now, yes, sir. people might try wanting to come as fast as possible, right? But if they don't know about it, they just know about the Angkor, well, then if they're not be able to relate it, how wonderful as Angkor Wat is, and, and the temple, and Simria yes, province is, they might not be, you know, considered so, so what as do, soon as possible to come and visit Simbri. So what do they want to hear, sir? I mean, from your perspective as a leader in, uh, in the hospitality sector, what normally what foreigners want to hear when we, if we were to communicate with them more, sir? Well, I mean, definitely people would like to hear, you know, uh, Cambodia, Simbri is one of the, you know, uh, safe, country mm -hmm. that's yeah. they know that when they come here they don't worry about you know any uh, insecurity or this kind of thing which has already happened in our country for a long time ago yes, even sir. though some of them still remember where we used to be during the mm -hmm. war time so you know sure. this sort of information uh, some of them don't even really receive the new one and update themselves and when they talk about uh, Cambodia, they might still remember in the old image. So we have to do something to really, you know, uh, clear up their, their 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 memory, the old memory, and give them the new memory about the new Cambodia. The new Cambodia, very sir. safe. Yes, you sir. know, um, uh, new Cambodia have lots of uh, tourism product and experience have to offer, not just in Simbria but also in Cambodia. You know, in our coastal ah, area, the yes, provinces. Sir. So we have so so many uh, so-called abandoned tourism product that we can actually you know send out these communications to the world however as you know why we are doing this because we believe that repeated communication must exist in order to you know make sure that they remember us make sure we can create a little bit more attractive and update about the tourism product development update about the experience that people already came and how they like about Simria, you know, and share back, share them back this information. Hopefully, that can attract more people to come. And by the way, I mean, like some experts. Uh, so basically, they say that Simria has a lot of attraction already, but what we lack is communication. But is that one of the reasons that which impede the flow of tourists uh, after COVID? And how do we communicate better? I think yeah, the the, the assumption or the the feedback is not wrong. Uh, totally right, because if we were to read the article published by GIZ in the survey uh, back in 2023 or 2024, uh, we found out that most of tourists, before they arrived to Siem Reap or Cambodia, they only knew for three things particularly. First of all, about Angkor Wat, the temple, so far. Second of all, about the nature, a beauty, beautiful nature. And third of all, is about history. The story that they have known is about the Khmer Rouge. But when they left Siem Reap, 
they realize that there's more thing. It's not just about those three things. They realize there's food, there are people, there's ambiance, there's nightlife, there's souvenir. There's a lot of aspect that has not been communicated. So true, if you were to communicate well, we have a lot of things that uh, can promote to tourists. So it is a need for us all to in tourism sector to to promote tourism and to promote the other um, portfolio of tourism assets so that tourists can make a pre-informed decision and stay longer. Yeah. Yes, sir. But um, because communication is key, uh, in the upcoming month, uh, the Siem Reap Tourism Club and in collaboration with uh, uh, Thomai Thomai uh, Digital Media, so, uh, you are going to create um, four uh, programs, uh, one yes. of them focus on the Gun Khmer right. martial art, the other yeah. one about documentary, another one about the, uh, the, the agriculture on the sacred Mount Gulen, sir. Right. And uh, th the most important thing that, that we also focus on is the talk show, yeah. where we will interview three or four, you know, uh, um, uh, expert, expert in, 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 in one day in for one of the subjects. Yeah, yes, sir. We, we are doing that. For, for uh, one week. So why do you do that, sir, now? Because, I mean, uh, we had lots of uh, comment from uh, tourists who used to visit uh, Simriap and, uh, you know, when, when we have done the survey and we asked them what do they like the most about Simriap, definitely everyone say Angkor Wat is number one. Surprisingly, uh, they like Simriap people a lot more, yes, right? Sir. So uh, Simriap people have also become the second attractiveness of the tourism products in, in, in Simria. But there's a lot more that tourists have never been uh, discovered about the, 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 the products and, and uh, the, the, the abundance, uh, uh, so-called service, and the history of Cambodia, yes, that, uh, especially in Simria. You know, imagine uh, the civilization during the Angkor, Angkor uh, empires from the 8th to the 13th century. Yes, sir. During that time, Cambodia was a pig, you know, was a monarchy, was, was a great empire. Yes, if sir. the great empire comes with a lot of great, you know, industry, and so far we have not so much, you know, uh, have lots of information about uh, the civilization during that time. So for us, uh, our aim is to really go back to that such uh, important era yes, and study about what great uh, uh, story that left behind that we need to, mm. to bring back. And uh, of course, one of which uh, you know, um, uh, Cambodian cuisine is is one of the one of the great culture that we have been uh, taught yes, a lot so far. So people want uh, in, to try food. Uh, people want to try food, yes, and yes, and our talk show will focus more on that uh, cuisine as well. Cuisine uh, with the expert that you know, not just to really using the current uh, uh, mythology of, of or the ingredient that is having right now that is popular but we also uh, talk to the agriculture sectors uh, especially we wanted to understand more about the the Gulen mountains uh, yes, where where we believe there are some hidden hidden uh, story there that uh, we wanted to bring back and and show to people say hey during you know that time the the, the city of of, of Gulen yes, have sir. different things different mm. inquiry and different product that uh, that people used to to have it you know as as a delicacy in terms of food yeah, yeah. cooking and all this livelihood, kind of thing the yes. livelihood yes, so yes. Uh, we talked to uh, we talked to the agriculture experts and they say there's a few things there mm. that's uh, quite interesting to discover and we are also talking now to the to the to the uh, chef association yes, trying to go and study about that few ingredient that existing there and making a few dishes and we wanted to test it out how good it is so uh, now they are doing it and hopefully uh, during the talk show uh, uh, that food can be served to the expert and to the rest you know for, as information yes. about the new discovery of the foods uh, and also uh, cuisine. to reinforce the idea that uh, rainy season is not it's not supposed to be the low season rainy season should be a green season should be a season that people should come to Cambodia also to reinforce that idea sir yeah true I mean yes, uh, uh, I think uh, the the old communication talking uh, rainy season as a monsoon term uh, yes. it's it it was 
you know, this is like, I don't know, I don't know if they have came to Cambodia before. I mean, since I was born until now, I never see Cambodia rain like whole day, (laughs) you know, maximum like one or two hours. Uh, And, and, you know, doesn't disturb anybody who travel, you know, visited uh, different temple, different tourism product in Simria. By the way, uh, New York Times last year yes, had already came and then published that you know they encourage uh, American to come and, and visit Simreap during this green mm. season time because yes, uh, green season you know you can see yeah. the temple greenery you can see the freshness of the temple and the trees around so yes, uh, basically you know uh, uh, you know. The question is: Have you ever seen the temple under the like rain? People it's, go it's, to it's beautiful, right? So <laughs> yes, people go to Bali in Indonesia because they want to experience the greenness. So the same thing should be in Cambodia, sir. I think so. I think yes, so. Sir. We have, we have. I mean, now the the Angkor Agricultural Park is it's so green, it's so nice, it's, yes, it, it's, it's, it's well, it's very needed. And when when you drive past, you feels like you're in a very so-called um, very good environment, you know, yes, like, yes, like calm and peace and green. So uh, I believe, I believe, you know, um, uh, people will 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 fascinated about the experience that they could have if they have, have ever come during this green season. So is this the reason why STC is organizing the upcoming event? Uh, you know, like the reason to communicate Siem Reap, especially in English. Yeah, it is in our heart to really like um, let people know that Siem Reap does not only provide temple experience, but Simip does offer a lot of uh, different uh, tourism asset. Actually, if you were to look into the community-based tourism you have right now in Simip, 17 listed community-based tourism yet to be explored. When I say yet to be explored, it means that there's a lot of things that have been that need to be done there. Actually, the fauna, the flora, the temple, the birds. You know what? In one of our community-based tourism, there's a kind of bird that's only available in Simrip, and nobody talk about it. <laughs> For those bird lover, they have to come to Simrip to see that bird. So this kind of tourism doesn't make me feel goosebumps every time I know about it. But we really need to promote it. And part of STC, we want to tell people and the world that. No, not just the temple, but come and see different aspects of tourism and set. Yeah. For the past uh, question, we talk about you know how we can um, get the um, Western tourists, mm. but uh, now I just want to focus a bit about the local tourists. For example, right. in Cambodia, year round, right. we normally uh, you know local tourists normally come during holiday, mm. which only exists two or three times a year. Right. But beside the holiday, not many Cambodian tourists visit Angkor or visit Siem Reap, sir. Um, so how how do you how do uh, you know the hospitality uh, sector or the tourism sector manage to you know to to disperse the crowd you know year long so not not to make like a high month or low month but to like spread you know the the tourists throughout the year so it's simply well, Lo- local it's, tourists. It's, it's it's a very good question. Yes, sir. I think I think local tourists and international tourists is alike because. A different country, they have a different holiday time. Uh, so, uh, in order to ensure that our uh, similar destination have so-called not so much a fluctuated tourist arrivals, yes, we have to target based on source of the country where they travel in different period, different time, right? Mm-hmm. For example, you know, uh, say uh, July, August, uh, and, and September, most of the Spanish-speaking country they like to travel. Uh, yes, you know, uh, to, to travel. So these are the people who actually we wanted to bring them in during this green term. Uh, like Japanese market, they travel somewhat, you know, like a golden week mm-hmm. just after Khmer New Year, so in yes, May. Sir. So that's also green season is beginning. So this is a good time that to bring them in. I think even though uh, the Indian tourists also, they like to travel during this green season as well. So um, so that is focused a little bit more on, on, on international tourists to come in to, to, to uh, to Simrip. However, yes, uh, uh, I mean, right now, our local tourists also like to travel in this uh, in this uh, green seasons. Uh, yes, the sir. reason because a school holiday yes, uh, that they like to bring their you know children to, yes. to come uh, you know uh, to Simrip. Uh, definitely, I mean, local in, in in the country, you know, I believe those who like to travel they come to Simrip. Right now, maybe a few times already. Mm. So, in order to attract them more, we need to create new products. Yes, right? sir. A uh, new product that is already fitting to the kids' activity, new product that they like to experience. Uh, I mean, as 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 uh, as tourists, they like to experience new things. So, uh, Simrip, 
uh, if, we always, wanted to, yes, if we wanted to make sure that we attract people all year round, we right? have to make something so new. So something had yeah. to happen. Yes, uh, uh, new thing, uh, our old thing, new information, yes, uh, old thing, new creativity also can be done. So, uh, you know, because you can't just create new thing all the time, but then you have to be creativity. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to create maybe same product, but new, new different taste. experience, new, new different yeah. activity. Yeah. Yes, so those are the things that you need to do it. And one of the one of the uh, very important tourism products, I believe, is the cuisine. Mm. It's a food. Yes, sir. The food. People love to taste different food, and food is, you know, food is what we need daily, right? And food is people enjoy daily. So uh, Simria, of course, we have a very wonderful cuisine, but we need to also create a little bit more different cuisine, uh, you know, that. Let's say people see, like seasonal taste, cuisine, uh, regional cuisine, seasonal cuisine, regional cuisine, yes, not just a local, but then also yeah. maybe international cuisine <laughs> as well. Because yeah. you know, it's a tourism destination. You can't just offer local cuisine, mm. but you also have to offer international cuisine as well. So, so this is also what happened in our talk show that you know, of course, uh, local cuisines, regional seasonals, you know, as freshness, organic, you know, product in Simria yes, is sir. already one of our main topic. But we never forget about you know international cuisine, you know, because people come here to trade three, four nights. Definitely, they don't just have one cuisine; they will taste different cuisine. So, food industry is very important as well. I mean, currently, why people go to Pub Street because there are different cuisine there that yeah, people yes, can yeah. choose and pick and try and experience. So, these are some things that uh, Simria need to really you know develop create more and also the quality of all this cuisine have to do more. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, the, the, the governor of Simria actually has now tries to uh, you know make it happen, try to push it through is, is the quality of street food in Simria where everyone can taste our mm -hmm. local food yet also a bit different you know uh, uh, street food from other places all this kind of thing so we are working on this together uh, with his directions and his you know uh, encouragement hopefully something will come up very soon for Simbrip to add to the current attractiveness at the at, at the pub street right now Simbrip also get famous for tourists uh, from uh, neighboring province or local tourists so far you know why? Um, um, because Simbrip getting more and more serene in terms of nature and landscape. Simbrip does will not be uh, only Simbrip that we see now. Simbrip will be divided into six zones, each zone dedicated to some particular project. And the Simbrip City Center will not be its high skyscrapers. Uh, we already ha have observed uh, through our dialogue with some real estate developer that Simbrip has been a place for local retirement as well. So they choose to come here to Simbrip to get retired, to buy a retirement home, to buy the villa. Because they found that Simbrip is not just like tourism, but it's also a place where you have serenity, you have temple, you have uh, the track, uh, walking trail uh, in Angkor Wat, you have the cycling trails, you have the jungle, you have the mountain, you have the lake. Where does not exist? everywhere else, somewhere else in Cambodia. So I think um, the local people tend to be more uh, oriented to Syria because they found it interesting as well, uh, from the Hazo Bazo life, perhaps comparing to Phnom Penh or other city of Cambodia. Yes, sir. so to summarize a bit on your idea, so you also mentioned cuisine and also the alternation of uh, foreign uh, tourists between uh, different countries. Right. You know, when is their holiday and when do they choose to come mm -hmm. to Cambodia? Mm -hmm. so, uh, yes, sir. so uh, also the last question from me, uh, you know, there are, let's say, comment, you know, from experts saying that, oh, there is an untapped potential so in the region, uh, namely, let's say, um, ASEAN. So, so, you know, uh, more than just uh, getting the, uh, uh, the tourists from the Western world, we also get the tourists from the regional uh, countries. Uh. But for example, if the regional country has similar culture to us, similar food to us, similar people to us, is it an easy way to attract them to our countries? Well, I mean, you have to, you have to look at this way, right? Yes, um, as a tourist, uh, as a people, you like to try new things, right? Mm, yes. Similar doesn't mean the same, you know. <laughs> so, uh, as long as we can attract you know, them to come, as long as they know that we have something that attracts to them, right? Uh, on top of that, they know that 
you know, because of we are neighboring, we are in one region, the fly is only three hours, you know, the fly only one hour. Yes, uh, or maybe if they can bring their family, you know, overland, driving past the borders. So if all these are convenient, all these are publicly known that is easy to travel. More and, affordable. And more affordable yes, to sir. travel. I think people would like to, you know, to come. Right mm. and 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 definitely uh, as 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 uh, as you said, similar culture that mean the same, right? Yes, and, sir. and and especially Cambodia, we are one of I think the I would say the longest country in the region as well. And there's a lot of history behind and all those kind of thing. And as long as we are able to you know bring this sort of communication campaign, you know, let them know what are actually. Maybe people like now to, to to go back to the past, you know, yes, wanted to understand what was the history, what was the great history, and yes, more on about humans, uh, human uh, so-called heritage, more civilization, about uh, human yes. civilization. Yes, it, yes. It, it's more about common, about, about mm. human kind, and, and of course, uh, history have different sensitivity, history have different things, but we are tourists, we are, we are human beings, so as long as we focus something more on the human value, you know, uh, and people would like to go and, 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 and experience. And one thing that I all wanted to raise back is that uh, uh, many, uh, many uh, review, uh, many comments from tourists, Western or Asia, like uh, they really uh, feels that Cambodia people are so friendly and, 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 and the hospitality in Simriap are something that they is when they come when they experience they, 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 they are so happy because the expectation in this it, it, level it, it but exceed, they get like yeah, they get like yes. you know so much of, of, of more the expectation, the expectation. Yes, so uh, uh, these are some things that communication will play the key mm. uh, this need to be a campaign uh, this need to be very, very uh, so-called uh, repetitive, repetitive uh, yes, uh, not just within our country, but then neighboring countries. So uh, I believe communication is playing a very important role now to let people know how good, how great we are in, in this town.